I want to begin by making sure that Excel works for you. Anything that you commonly use, we want to make sure there's quick access to that for you. Specifically, we're going to start by customizing the quick access toolbar located in the upper left hand corner of your screen. The default, default means automatically, if you didn't do anything, there's only three buttons located in that toolbar. Save, undo, and redo. Now I don't know about you, but there's a lot of things I want to use frequently and I would like to have a button I can simply click on to activate that. Notice on the right hand side of the quick access toolbar there is a little triangle that points down and as you probably know those triangles indicate there's lists of choices. So I'm simply going to click on that and it provides me with a pop down list of choices. I'm going to add new by simply clicking on it and notice that the new workbook button has been added to the toolbar. So as you click on the list, I might try something like print preview and perhaps spelling that I want to add to it. Anything that you want can easily be added from this list. I'm going to add open also. You're going to be opening a lot of workbooks as you um, continue your learning through this program. So I've already begun to customize that toolbar, adding things that I might commonly want to that. Now, I'm sure you have good window skills, but just in case, let's talk about some other skills that you might use throughout the program and to help you with this also. There's other things that I like to use frequently also. Um, specifically, I might want to add, I'm going to use the Office button. And as I look down the list of choices in the Office button, I have Save. I have save as. Save as you're going to need to use a lot because as you work with the text in this class, it has you open an existing workbook and change the name of it. That's what you'll be turning in to me is that workbook with that new name. So save as you're going to use really frequently. Let's add it to the quick access toolbar. It was not listed in our drop down list of choices, however, if I move my mouse down to the Save As and right click, all that happens when you right click on something is it gives you a shortcut to the most commonly com used commands for that. And notice that Add to Quick Access Toolbar is listed. And when I do that, I now have Save As in addition to Save listed in the Quick Access Toolbar. Another one I like to add is close, because when I get done working on one of them, I like to go ahead and close that workbook. And so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go Office button, slide my mouse down to close, right click, and add that to the Quick Access Toolbar. Now I can open, I can close, I can save as when I want to change the name of something. Customize the Quick Access Toolbar to include the features that you want. Those will remain there each time you open the program. So anything that you want to have, no matter which ribbon, no matter which tab you're using in the ribbon, you will add to the Quick Access Toolbar. And now you've customized Excel, making and providing quick buttons for the things you most commonly use. This is version 2007, which includes a new feature called the Ribbon. We no longer have the menus and toolbars. Each Microsoft Office program begins in the Home tab. The Home tab is in the upper left-hand corner. The reason is that the things that you will use most often in Excel will be located in the Home tab. Notice that within the tab it's divided into groups. We have a clipboard, a font, an alignment, a number, a styles, a cells, and an editing group. It'll make it easier for me to help you find whatever it is you're looking for because I will tell you which tab it is located in and within the tab which group. Each ribbon has its own features listed. Specifically in the Home tab again are the most common and if I click on Insert 
the ribbon below completely changes to objects that would be inserted into your spreadsheet and you could continue from there. Notice as you click on each tab the ribbon below changes. Another way you could move around in your ribbons is if you place your mouse on the ribbon and use the wheel, the scrolling wheel in your mouse, you can wheel back and forth to each individual ribbon and we'll be talking about each of them at some point later in class. Now, I just want you to know the Home tab is the most commonly used. We'll begin there, but that as you click on each tab, the ribbon below will change. So two areas. You'll have your Quick Access toolbar that you've now customized and the ribbon to find the different features that we'll be learning about within Excel. In addition to those, in the groups, so I'm specifically back on my Home tab looking at the groups, in the lower right hand corner of the name of the group there is what is called a dialogue launcher. This little curved arrow, any group name that has that, if you click on it, it will open the dialogue box for that particular group of items. I clicked on it for the font group and came out with the format cells and the font information. I'm going to cancel that. Same thing on alignment. If I click on that, I will come to the format cells, alignment information in that dialog box. Dialog boxes provide more specific customized settings, but you're going to find that most of the things you use most often will be simply obtainable from the ribbon located up above.